So this is a glenohumeral joint. We'll look at this if like a shoulder's dislocated or if we want to inject the shoulder. So once we get behind the patient, we just try to orient our indicator with where it is on the screen. So the indicator's to our left, so we're going to keep it to our left to identify the glenohumeral joint. And I like the curved probe just because it gives us a nice wide view of this joint. It's a wide space. Come down kind of low on the humerus, identify that. And if we just follow it towards the patient's head, you'll see the humeral head start to get wider and more superficial. And you'll get right up to where you hit the joint space itself. So there's where the joint is, and I'll often have the patients kind of rotate so I can see the humeral head rotate in and out of the glenoid fossa. It's not really a fossa, but, and if I get up here just a little bit more, I can make out the infraspinatus tendon up there. right across there. You can see it pulling the humeral head. There we can see the tendon going across the humeral head a little bit better. It's hard to appreciate the entire joint though with this probe I think. If we're a little careful we can.